Welcome to Street Beat. I'm Simon Chowdhury. Literacy is a major issue here in Detroit. It was recently reported by the Detroit Regional Workforce Fund that 47% of Detroiters are functionally illiterate. Today, we'll be talking about the written word with those who create it and those who help others read it. We'll be discussing a huge used book sale, a tutoring service, and a recent poetry slam. But first, we have Dr. Anthony Yoon, a local plastic surgeon who is also an author, and he's here to tell us about his new book. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Simon. Now, Dr. Yoon, let's go ahead and brag a little. I'll get, <laughs> let's brag about your background. You've been on Dr. 902 and 0, and you're mm -hmm. a regular on The Rachel Ray Show. Yeah, so I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon. I'm a Beaumont doctor. I, I practice in uh, Troy, Michigan, and I do uh, go to The Rachel Ray Show quite a bit. All right, well, I have here in stitches... Now, you would think, being that you're a plastic surgeon and it's called In Stitches, it would be some sort of medical book or something related to plastic surgery, but it's not. Explain to our viewers what exactly this is. Well, I began writing it about five, six years ago when I figured out that there is just, there's never been a book written about medicine, about being a doctor that's funny. All the books are written as, as books made to put us on a pedestal and show just these are the 10 patients whose lives I've changed. So what I did was I set out to write a book that is a humorous memoir about what it's really like to become a doctor. And a lot of people compare this to Scrubs and David mm -hmm. Sedaris. Oh, okay. Well, those are Scrubs I love. It's a hysterical show. So do you have like a story that kind of sticks out in your mind that you want to tell our viewers? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of just fascinating stories in here. And, and I've said before um, on other programs that Every doctor has a handful of patients whose, whose stories have really changed their life. And so here there are stories going through medical school in gross anatomy. I mean, literally there are students that take body parts home with them in their backpack, and you don't know it. I mean, crazy <laughs> stories. Uh, there's wow. a story about a small child who was literally attacked by a raccoon, mm -hmm. and that was the one that really uh, inspired me to become a plastic surgeon. And then there are crazy stories about some time I spent in Beverly Hills where we were using leeches and we were dealing with actors and actresses. Wow. I mean, just kind of crazy stories of plastic surgery, too. So I, I think there's something for everybody in this book. And, and uh, we were talking about this before, uh, your background, and, and it, you, you kind of give a history of your, your life about it and with your uh, ethnicity and things like that. Do you want to touch about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I grew up in a tiny town in the middle of Michigan called Greenville, mm -hmm. and a part of the book deals with me growing up as an Asian American with a quote-unquote tiger father. Mm -hmm. I mean, my father, when I was born, decided I was going to be a doctor, and so <laughs> it, it touches on kind of the how I dealt with that growing up right. and really then shifts over to four years of medical school at Michigan State. Mm -hmm. And so literally what I try to do is take the readers in my shoes as this clueless student mm -hmm. trying to become a doctor. And there are funny parts that will make people laugh, but there are also those parts where we do save people's lives. And hopefully people get quite a bit out of this book. You know what, Dr. Yoon, I could actually relate to that because my dad is a doctor and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, my, you know, Indian and Pakistani background, a lot of folks go into the medical field. So I completely understand when you say that you were born that way. But for viewers, I mean viewers, excuse me, yeah, viewers who, who are going to read your book, how could they relate to that? Or is it just something that everyone can read and enjoy? I think one thing that even if you're not Asian American, you know, like we are, people, what they're really going to get is this is a book that your doctor doesn't necessarily want you to read. This really deals with the <laughs> secret life of doctors. And, mm -hmm. you know, once again, doctors, we try to put ourselves on pedestals. And the crazy thing, you know, you, we mentioned the show Scrubs. The crazy thing is there's actually more truth to a show like Scrubs as there is in House and Grey's Anatomy mm -hmm. and all these medical dramas. And that's what I wanted to bring to the written word is, is, how could, you know, is reading a book that literally makes you laugh, it makes you cry, but really gives you that story that doctors don't want you to know. I mean, we as plastic surgeons don't want patients to know that if something goes wrong, we can pull out leeches <laughs> to save the day. I mean, nobody would ever think about that, but it's wow. true. Okay, so how long did it take you to write the book? I know you said it started a few years ago. Yeah, I started about five, six years ago, uh -huh. and literally almost every evening after my kids went to bed, I worked on it, worked on it, worked on it. Mm -hmm. And the literary market is crazy now. Unfortunately, and you're going to cover some of that in this right. you know, today, mm -hmm. is not as many people read as they used to. So it's definitely a challenge, but I'm real proud of this book. I actually put a guarantee on my website that if you don't like this book, send it to me and I'll actually give you your money back. Or a free nose job, or a free this, well, or a free I don't know about that. that <laughs> that's a little more. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, that's why you should have confidence in this book because exactly. I, yeah, our producer has been attached to this book. She is in love with oh, your writing. You. So thank obviously you. that says a lot right there. But you know, let's talk about the literacy uh, problem here in Detroit. Does that shock you? 47%. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think too, growing up as an Asian American, with the amount of emphasis that my parents parents 
placed on education and having to read. I mean, reading, I think, is something that's almost becoming a lost art. I mean, we're, we're not reading books anymore. We're texting and we're right. watching videos and mm -hmm. stuff. So I am very proud that this is a book that I think anybody can pick up and really enjoy, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a nurse, or whether you're somebody who's a college student or a high school student. I, I've been shocked at the reception it's received. I mean, people saying, darn it, Dr. Yoon, I was up till 2 a.m. reading this darn <laughs> book last night, and I'm real tired today because of you. Well, uh, is there going to be another book? I'm hoping. Up? I'm yeah. hoping. So the, the next book, hopefully, will we'll take part, part of it in Metro Detroit, where I started my practice and some of the crazy things that happened to me at that time. Oh, all right. Well, I'm not going to ask anything because I don't want you to give anything away. But you know what? I have to say thank you so much for coming on our show. Again, Dr. Yoon's book is In Stitches, and you can find out more about it at institchesbook.com. Up next, community correspondent Ben Falick will show you where you can get some bargains on books and help others learn to read at the same time time stay with us